Hi, so before we get started, I'd just like to ask you, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and also at the end of the video, please consider give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Also leave a comment below on ways to and suggestions and ways to improve this video moving forward. Let's go. So now that we have the project set up, let's write a simple, um, you know, Mokito to um, interaction based testing, you know, just basically stubbing a simple class. So recall here that I have this book DAO um, and basically what this class does is um, it basically loads off of uh, using these utils. Um, it basically loads from the file system um, a, um, a library of books and basically a book is nothing but, you know, a line on uh, this CSV that I've got here. Let me show you here. So basically I've got this CSV which is a bunch of um, you know um, strings here and in each each line basically is parsed by this utils class onto a book object uh, which is represented here. This is just basically a simple data object that uh, represents um, a line here for each CSV. So uh, what, I, what I want to show you here is um, this book DAO, I want to test this book DAO, but I want to mock the utils um, object. I don't want to actually use an actual utils object. I would like to mock the, the, the methods uh, that it supports. Uh, so for that, let's create a test. So let's do use a JUnit5 test and um, and for now, let's not add any methods. So I just want to show you how you can do something, uh, you know, super cool with uh, Mokito. So let me create a um, test a JUnit5 test method. Let me show you a very simple, um, you know, stubbing, which is the most simple thing you can do in Mokito. So let me put this class utils here next to us. So let's move right. Let's maximize so that we have the class here. And uh, let me just minimize this. We just want uh, the interface, really. So so what I want to do, remember, I want to mock, I want to stub a few methods here on the utils. So for example, let's mock the uh, parse library from. So what I do firstly is I do mock. So I want to mock the utils um, class. Utils class. So let's import the uh, Mokito type and let's introduce a variable called utils. So now we have our mock and now we can stub, um, you know, methods. So for example, let me say when the, um, when the uh, utils uh, object parse from library with any um, type uh, path of type path class. So when this guy um, is invoked, then I'm going to say then uh, return an expected uh, type uh, object, I should say. So let me create an expected type here, which is going to be basically, uh, let's create a book array and basic just with one book, new book. And if I recall what the book takes, a title, let's say effective uh, Java, uh, which has, you know, whatever, um, it's not a big book, I don't know, 280 pages. The topic is computing and the year of publication is, um, I actually don't recall, uh, I don't know, uh, whatever, doesn't matter, doesn't need to be accurate. Um, 2000, first edition, uh, and it's a book by Joshua Block. Block, if I know how to type. Okay, so obviously uh, we have to convert this um, array of books into a list. So let's use the help of IntelliJ here. So, and that's uh, it. So I've got here my um, uh, maybe I should, uh, okay, that's fine. So basically I have here my list, which contains only one book, which is the effective Java book. Um, 
and basically what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm stabbing this uh, utils mock and saying when you call this mock parse library from method with any parameter of type path then return this single um, you know um, uh, list uh, this uh, list of one single book which is defective Java so now if I want to actually test this and I for example just want to do some basic print so let me just print this and utils get uh, sorry parse and um, you know I can use any path um, for example book I believe the book DAO contains the default path so if I call these, my expectation is that it should print the expected um, object here. Okay, so let's uh, run this and see what we get. So let's go to Gradle and run the test uh, task. So the test passed and when I look at the output, I see that the stub method uh, worked correctly because it actually returned the uh, book um, that I am expecting. So this worked fine. Um, so um, another way that you can verify this, for example, is you could have I could have done matchers assert, and I want to assert that you know the actual um, value, which is if I call this method. Um, is equal uh, so a score matchers is core matchers equal to uh, the expected so let me uh, add static imports here to make this thing more readable static import here and also here add static import so that's perfectly equivalent. Basically what I'm saying is assert that when I call my mock with um, uh, you know, the method parse library on my mock, then what it returns is what I'm expecting it to return. So again, let's uh, run this test and see what we get. So as you can see, the test passes. Okay. So this is basically the most fundamental thing you can do with mocks is essentially, you know, stub methods. So just for completion here um, on this introductory example, let me show you how you would go about stubbing a, an exception. So test um, uh, uh, stubbing of exception. So again, let me uh, mock my utils class as before. And now, uh, instead of you know um, a regular um, um, stubbing, I'm going to stub an exception on perhaps getbook. So I'm saying if the getbook method on the utils mock with any string is invoked, then throw an exception, and uh, the class of the exception will be a runtime exception. Okay. And then in JUnit, I would go to the assertions package and assert throws. The exception I'm expecting is a runtime exception. Uh, let's move this thing here and uh, let's invoke the method. And the method that I'm going to invoke is utils get book uh, with any string. Let's just put empty string uh, let's uh, get the exception back and now um, assert that the um, actual exception that I get or I could say the class is actually um, core matchers is um, core matchers dot equal to a runtime exception Okay, and again, let's uh, do static imports here to make this thing more readable. And that should be that. Okay, so let's run this and make sure that it passes. So as you can see, the test passes. And if I were to run all the tests in the class, then everything should pass, as you can see. So. 
This is a very basic example of uh, stabbing um, in Mokito 2. So the first example, as you see, is um, you know I'm uh, mocking the type, and then I use it to uh, stab a method. You know, basically I'm setting uh, a different return type that then I can you know verify uh, here. In this example, I'm stubbing uh, the um, you know with an exception that then I again when I actually call it I actually verify that that exception is thrown. Okay, so I hope you found this um, you know introductor introduction to uh, Mokito and stubbing useful. I am Nilton from craftofprogramming.com. Thanks for watching.